Yo, what, what is up, guys? This is James Carter TV, and I'm back, and I'm crying because you know what? The picks, the predictions, they ain't going as well as we would like them to. So we're gonna switch things up a bit. I'm gonna change my pick and style, and we're gonna go a little against the flow. I'm putting on the hat, all right? I'm putting it on. Maybe this will be good luck for me. Maybe, just maybe. All right, you see that? Just maybe this is what you know. Screw the hat, X. I'm not putting on that stupid hat. We're not. We're not too black over here. I mean, we're black, but we're not too black over here. So let's take off the hat. If we cannot get a positive record, the hat's coming back on, and we don't want the hat to come back on. But right now, overall, 2012, I'm 15 and 17. I went seven and nine this week. Eight and eight the first week. We gotta do better. So how about we get started with the Thursday night game between the New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers. And the bandwagon is out there. Everyone is picking the Carolina Panthers to win this game. Am I going to jump on that bandwagon? I am not. Only for this reason. I just think the Panthers, uh, they're, still a very, uh, they're still a good team. I, I just, I don't think... They're as good as people are saying. I think the New York Giants are going to come out. They're going to win this. And they're going to get back on the right track. And I could be wrong here, but I want to go against the flow. Because right now, the way I've been picking has not been really working out. So I'm going to go with the Giants win this. And again, look in the description box for the scores of all the games. Because I'm not saying that right here. So go look down there for that. St. Louis Rams and Chicago Bears. Uh, I think the Bears are going to bounce back, win this one. But there is an upset alert here for the St. Louis Rams to win. The Rams are better than people think. Sam Bradford is starting to play like he did back in 2010, rookie of the year level. And if he can keep that up, he'll actually, he won't be a bust the way he was last year. Buffalo Bills and Cleveland Browns. Uh, who cares? <laughs> uh, the Buffalo Bills are going to win this, but... Cleveland's been losing, but they've been losing pretty close. I mean, they got into a what was a shootout for Cleveland. For Cleveland, it is a shootout. Then they lost 34-27 to Cincinnati. So that's a shootout. They're losing, but they're losing quite closely. But they need Joe Hayden back to get a win. To get one win, they need him back. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and uh, what was this stupid team? Uh, Dallas Cowboys. I'm picking the Buccaneers, all right? I think the Dallas Cowboys are too high on themselves. They could bounce back and get back on the right track, but they're a little too excited. Des Bryant needs to play because what I saw last week was terrible from Des Bryant. I'm pretty sure the Dallas Cowboys show, a.k.a. Shango, has told you everything you need to know about the Dallas Cowboys lost last week, so I'm not going to get into that. Dallas Cowboys, you got to do better, but I think the Bucks are going to upset you, and it's going to be another Dallas Cowboys season. Jacksonville Jaguars and Indianapolis Colts. I'm going to go against the grain here. I'm going to pick the Jacksonville Jaguars, even though they got their ass kicked last week um, facing Houston, and they were in Jacksonville. I still like their defense, and I still like them enough to pick them to beat the Indianapolis Colts. Andrew Luck is going to have trouble against these corners, Aaron Ross. And if Daryl Smith plays, he's going to have trouble with him. He's not going to be able to find Kobe Fleener because I'm pretty sure Daryl Smith is going to shut him down if he plays. Either way, whether he plays or not, I'm picking the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this game. And eh, sort of an upset, but not really. Because let's remember, the Colts were the worst team in the league last year. Not that much of an upset. New York Jets and Miami Dolphins. Oh, God. Um... I tried so hard to pick the Miami Dolphins, but now that the news has come out that Daryl Rivas is going to play, he's really going to be the main difference. Ryan Tannehill is going to have trouble finding his number one receiver. Yes, I said number one receiver, Brian Hartline, which isn't even a number one receiver, but the fact is he needs him, and he will not be able to find him with Darrell Rivas blocking him down, putting him on Rivas Island. Ryan Tannehill will have trouble, but there is an upset alert here. It'll be a low-scoring matchup, but I'm picking the Jets to win. San Francisco 49ers at Minnesota Vikings. Easiest, bitch, um, easiest game of the week. There is no upset happening here. I'm sorry, Vikings fans. I know there's a lot of you out there, but you ain't winning this game. Kansas City Chiefs, New Orleans Saints. I'm going to... The battle of teams that are 0-2, and, and I'm going to go with the team... 
that's been looking terrible. Well, they've actually both been looking terrible. I'm going to go with Kansas City to win this, get back on track. Jamal Charles got to come back here and play better. New Orleans Saints right now, right now, ranked. I'm talking about statistic-wise, not my eyes-wise, but statistically, they have the worst defense in the league. And I think Kansas City is going to end up looking good here. Matt Cass is going to keep his job because if they keep losing, I'm pretty sure they like Ricky Stanzi. I wouldn't be surprised to see Ricky Stanzi out there uh, if, uh, if Matt Castle keeps going bad. Or who's their backup? I can't remember who their backup is, but still, Chiefs, you got to do better. Because right now, you're making me look like a full piggy you to win the ASU West. <laughs> Alright, I'm biased. Alright, I'm I'm sorry. I'm biased. If you wanted someone that is not biased, leave. Detroit Lions at Tennessee Titans. But I will make you a promise. If we lose this game, this will be the last time I pick us to win anything until we face Minnesota. And until and then after that, I'll pick us to lose the Steelers. I'll pick us to lose to whoever. Unless if they had a worse record than we did last year. I'm picking them to lose because obviously we can't beat good teams. And even though San Diego had a worse worker than we did last year, they were a better team than we were last year. They were in a tougher division, and that's why they had a worse record. But come on, we all know San Diego is better than us. But I thought, I I wrongfully thought that, you know, let me not get into a rant. But anyway, I'm going to pick us for the last time. I'm picking the Titans to win against the Detroit Lions. Please don't make me look like a fool if you do. I'm going to stop picking you. I'm still going to have faith in you, but I can't pick you. I can't keep being biased. People are getting sick of my bias. All right. Cincinnati Bengals, uh, Washington Redskins. I'm going to go against the grain again, and I'm going to pick the Cincinnati Bengals to win this. Uh, Washington has lost some players on defense, and that's not good. That's, uh, that smells trouble for the Washington Redskins. I think people are jumping on the bandwagon, kind of like how we did last year with Carolina. Let's slow down. They're still not a great football team. I'm picking the Cincinnati Bengals to win this. <coughs> Sorry about that. Philadelphia. Hold on. <coughs> ah! All right. Philadelphia Eagles, Arizona Cardinals. Now, I'm not surprised people are picking the Cardinals to win this, but I think the Eagles are going to win this. Get out to a 3-0 and start. It will be close. It won't be pretty, but for the third week in a row, they're going to win by a small margin, but they're going to be 3-0, and and that's all that matters. Atlanta Falcons, San Diego Chargers, Super Chargers. People are jumping on San Diego bandwagon, and they should be. All right, because San Diego's looking damn good. Melvin Ingram is looking like the defensive rookie of the year right now next to Mark Barron, all right? Let's not forget about him. But I'm going with Atlanta because I love what I see from Atlanta, even though... Julio Jones screwed my fantasy team the other week. I still like Atlanta to win this game. Houston Texans, Denver Broncos. I hate the Texans so much that I'm picking the Denver Broncos to win this. No, but still, I think Payne Man is going to come back, play better against Houston. Uh, don't like Brooks Reed. He's ugly. J.J. Watt is ugly, and I don't like them. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers at Oakland Raiders. Uh, woo, uh, easy. <laughs> what am I saying? Ooh, for Steelers. I mean, come on. Raiders suck. Uh, they're going to get Barkley, and they're going to suck. Uh, New England Patriots at Baltimore Ravens going with the Ravens to win this. And I want to pick the Patriots. I really, really do. But I love the Ravens. I picked them to win the Super Bowl, and I'm picking them to win every game this season. No, I'm not. But I love the Ravens. How can you not love the Baltimore Ravens right now, even though they lost last week? to Philadelphia. I would have loved to see Flacco done a better job. Fourth and two. You gotta complete a pass, but I'm gonna sit with the Denver Broncos and Monday Night Football. Green Bay Packers at Seattle Seahawks. People love the Seahawks and they should. I mean, you should love their defense, but let's calm down. Green Bay is still Green Bay. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers, but it would be interesting for the Green Bay Packers to lose because you'd have the Packers 1-2, and two, you'd have the Patriots 1-2, and two, but then you'd have other teams, the 49ers 3-0, and oh, maybe the Texans 3-0, and oh, the Falcons 3-0. and oh. It'll be interesting to see these new teams are starting to get up there. Packers, Patriots are struggling a little bit, uh, and especially the Steelers also say struggling a little bit. I mean, they won last week in New York, but, you know, whatever. 
All right, anyway, guys, James Carter TV, comment down below. Yo, crap. I love y'all faces, and I will see you next time. Stole that from Philly D, but he don't care.